hello friend today i will show you how to send an email with attachments using node.js a demo of this of this project uh, first uh, enter some email i i just say k30 data gmail dot com hit enter here is a tag input field like you can enter uh, multiple email here email cc programming out of 10 at the rate of gmail.com okay now in bcc I want to add uh, just say mc 16040167 data view dot edu dot pk okay now enter some subject some subject of email of test email you want to and design if you want to design your template according to your desire you can uh, design here uh, title of template you can bold there that and you can color background or foreground color here like this you can align this title according to your desire add multiple here you can add a table here in this editor uh, you can add a link here here you can what you want display link and link is suppose this here is a link okay you can hover and see, see the link also and go to your link and uh, so now th uh, lastly I have implemented drop zone drop box here uh, from this you can drag drop files or you can select multiple files with uh, email attachment and the email i want to add select these four files open now it's a beautiful animation and with a beautiful view of drop zone box library i also implement this okay now send email here is a send send, send email panel because i i I have sent the emails uh, from this email address that I will log in here. You can see a template, title, and a table form, and at four attachments. Uh, from to CC, BCC. Now, if you go to the other email email inbox you will find yeah, a latest email that I have sent the, to this user ok now cc now in cc also sent okay so let's start for creating this beautiful uh, this application first first make folder of the project for that we make mk dir directory node sending email hit enter create a project now cd node 
sending email uh, for create a node.js app we have to uh, like this npm init dash y hit enter so go to vs code open this project now you see package adjustment file has been created to add some packages that we are required in this pro project so let's install first npm install express for server node mailer for sending mail also body body parser for parse the body in json code for handling any request and also ejs for template engine and also express ejs dash layout layouts for layout multer for file upload and last dot env for store for storing environment variables securely okay hit enter now one more package for development purpose nodemon npm install nodemon dash dash save dash dev In development only so these are packages that we uh, we are required in this project body parser cohost env egs express egs express egs layouts multer and non metal and one package for uh, for for uh, development purpose node mount because all x for save the file file this will auto re uh, refresh the project and reload the project in okay now for node start node mon index dot js okay now create a folder for this project first file index dot js and also dot env file for storing environment variables folders controllers first also routes folder also views folder helpers folder and public folder for uh, placing of uh, style files static fi files styles etc images now first in dot uh, dnv file express server config port 8080 host local host host url http local host 8080 after that uh, for email credential email server credential okay email server i am going to use this my email gmail account and also password no dot env file has been completed now grab this file in for that purpose we have to generate file in helpers file config uh, any name you want here i i going to use strict mode in javascript file const dot env require dot env package that we have installed 
and const assert for validate assert this is this is a built in package of node node.js first dot env dot config okay now we have to grab all the variable in in, in dot env file port host host url and also email server also password in process dot env okay now azard port is required see required field azard host host is required okay any variable you want to fill you have to add here like this now module dot export port host uh, host url host url okay email server email server and password password that's it in the config file for storing environment variable and now go to index file using u strict const express first express con config configuration file helper slash config const express layouts express EGS layouts const path for joining the path of static or folder const cores package and also const body parser app is equal to express initialize this like this app dot use express layouts app dot set view engine EGS app dot use cores app dot use body parser dot url encoded extended will be true app dot use body parser dot json also app dot use express dot static path dot join directory name also public this will join all the static file that i i will uh, i will add in this project in this folder here public okay no app dot listen for listening server config dot port and function like this console dot log has a backtick for dynamic string 
app is listening on url like this dynamic variable config dot url okay start server first time clear the console npm start the start server because in package.json file i have initialized this script nodemon by start variable okay our server has been started successfully now let's create a uh, views layouts and files first file layout dot ejs and also email dot ejs okay uh, by the boilerplate emit node email sending any what title you want of your app will be here for this view i am using uh, bootstrap i think go to browser uh, hit boot bootswatch.com standard bootstrap library here you have here you find multiple design and a color scheme with the color scheme layouts I want to use this. You can preview this template, and or just click here. You can. I have to download this file. Okay, I have downloaded this file earlier. Now copy this file. Go to your project and uh, reveal in File Explorer. Click two folder for CSS and for JavaScript. JS. Okay. and paste in this css folder now add one more file for main style style dot css custom style first link these two files in project link public css bootstrap link public CSS style or CSS. There is no need to write this uh, public text because uh, we have already joined this folder here. So that there is no need to uh, write the public and etc. In path. Okay. Uh, go to Bootstrap official page i want to change the previous version 4.6 in here i uh, i just want this and paste here for javascript file i don't need this jquery uh, jquery dot slim dot means are here because i want to add j i have to jquery cdn L latest ver uh, version here yeah, slim slim minified uncompressed minified I want to use minified just like this. Okay, now copy this and paste here. Uh, there is no need anymore. Also, no need anymore. And the, uh, this temp uh, here is a template that we have selected and uh, downloaded here. Now, 
for the navigation bar i want to add this code design control a and and paste here okay no this, uh, this is a layout file if we, and if we want to use uh, body in another we have to add uh, just like this here okay and this file will be in this portion uh, now div class container wrapper of the body just like this okay now in the uh, email file for the sake of design i just want to add this layout only copy paste here uh, view email uh, file email controller.js also uh, route route file email dash route dot js okay in controller we use strict mode const email view this will return a view or template engine request response next routes information that we have uh, receive request receive and response sent to the view and next middleware to uh, next uh, if we want to go to next middleware like this response dot render you will render template email okay this template we want to render from this view module dot export email view just like this now for route use strict const express for handling routes express controller email controller and here email view function const router express dot router okay router dot get just like this and email view okay now module dot export routes router now import this router in index file const email routes routes slash email routes just like this here app dot use email routes dot routes okay so let's check in browser like this sorry it's my bad view just like this refresh here is a template okay now modify this first there is no need for this also no need for these links we email sending title of project email sending with attachments in node.js here node.js ok and there is no need for search form we will remove this 
also margin bottom dash two. So refresh the page and here is our our main layout. No, now in email or EGS file here compose compose new email title and in class you know to display three font weight bolder okay just like this refresh compose there's a uh, little big uh, h4 tag okay remove these four lines okay div class form group label for email to email to and input field for this email to type email name email to id email to also placeholder enter email and for data dash role role of this field will be tags input so first we have to add in the tags input library in main layout file okay for that purpose go to browser hit bootstrap tag is a is here is, here is a official github page the bootstrap tag input library you can find example here is an example you can download this library from here or this is a tag input library here is an events uh, markup uh, data role tags input that we have added, added earlier no tag input like this any tag here is the input field we want to get all values in this field in comma separated string okay now if we want to add one item like this you can add okay value of function handle you can check this documentation also according to your desire you can download this for I, I am using CDN bootstrap tag input CDN I am going, going to use the CDN link ok here is CDN link of this bootstrap tag input library min file you can copy this tag paste here ok for styles for style sheet you can select styling and copy this first link uh, second link tags input are CSS and paste in the head section okay here okay now let's check first here is a tag input library because there is uh, white in text we have to override this style for this tag input library i request copy and paste first class bootstrap dash tags input with 100 percent okay uh, label in color that uh, background will be this color okay you can add ba background dark neighbor dark okay now you can check refresh here is a uh, we have grab full width and enter let's see because text color will uh, was white that's why in white background there, there was a invisible for this purpose i have add this style for background color okay just this now 
now let's uh, create an, uh, another field for that email cc and row and email bcc div class call dash six uh, twice this field and just copy and paste this and uh, change the name coding email cc okay okay here also here other, other field will be remain same email bcc just here and here Now for subject same like this just change the title label subject for subject copy and paste here and paste here and also paste here and there is no need for tags input in subject text ok so let's check okay because they uh, have uh, a give, we have to give a class name bootstrap class name form control like this okay so now for editor I am using summer note editor to edit a template design template for summer note you can have go to summer note official page Open, click like this this is summer note official page here is a uh, different design of uh, summer note and design you can uh, click get started and download this uh, uh, for whole package from this okay and you can uh, find a path to add uh, in your project like this okay these are all links and style that someone would have custom style okay these file just add found file this and min file style and javascript file copy this these four are uh, extra folder libraries lib folder folder add another folder summer note just like this and paste here okay that copied from files and layout link public library summer node and here we have to add this file there is no need for public also in script public library summer note js file okay just like this summer note has been added now if you want to use for you using summer note here editor like this div class give class summer note and id will be any email template okay just like this for initialize the summer note have to create an extra class in javascript file main dot js okay here, here I, I am going to use uh, jquery for that uh, document document dot ready when a document is loaded this function will call 
ओके फंक्शन एंड इज अलेक्टर डॉलर एंड परसेंट हैश टैग टू सेलेक्ट आई एन आई डी डॉट समर नोट जस्ट लाइक दैट है जे है जे क्यूरी सेलेक्टर फॉर आई डी जस्ट लाइक कॉन्स्ट आई डी इक्वल टू डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट गेट एलिमेंट बाई आई डी एंड वी पास ई मेल टेम्पलेट फॉर सिंपल जावा स्क्रिप we want to select id from javascript pure like this id and then then id dot summer note okay ah uh, jquery from jquery you can select dollar single quote or double quote and hash sign and the id that id that we have select so i want to select and dot summer note summer is a uh, and to initialize the summer node okay first add this uh, this main file to layout in this uh, bottom public js js main js there is no need for this variable okay now let's check go to browser refresh the page and here is our, our summer note editor you can grab and can expand or where you want what size you want okay it's complete working background color okay this will want to bold this like this this what you want if you want to fix the height at initially you can give a property here height will be 350 okay now refresh with 350 okay now for uh, uh, for email attachments we have a drop zone library we have a drop zone library go to browser and uh, type drop zone this is the official documentation is a demo okay you can add any of the file here here like this okay require for also all the packages installation download this package here on click here like uh, in zip file you have to ext extract like this click here extracted file and also copy these whole folder in the library section just like this add this layout fo layout file first here link public libraries lib folder and uh, dist also and drop zone dot css okay so no need for this we have to copy this and for javascript file to add like uh, this copy paste that's done now let's use it in our form here h4 for attachments we want to have to give class margin top dash 3 okay no for the drop zone have a form we have to initialize a form action if you want to directly upload 
the images or files on cloud you can uh, specify a url here and give a class drop zone margin top to and id will be email email attachments okay now in this okay now here is a if you want to design the dropbox layout a border and a, in this field style for drop zone class drop zone border one pixel dotted dashed and uh, white and drop zone message of padding margin etc now let's see so you see our do, uh, dashed border and white and drop zone box will be fine select this to file okay everything is working fine button send email okay class btn btn dash success on click send email okay just like this this function i have i have to create in main js file const send email arrow function just like this okay i have to give i have to give a margin top dash 3 float right that's it okay now design part is complete now let's start building this logic and send email through this form okay first js file const email to const to dollar select the id email to dot val val is a javascript function to get the value by id of input field const cc dollar common hash email cc okay these ids uh, are here email to email cc now email bcc copy this and and copy again this this link and hold this like bcc okay now for subject con subject is equal to dollar single quote hash subject id value okay now for getting the html for getting the html from from uh, that we have designed here this will return our uh, html take us any string html of this design that we have created here for that we have const body is equal to uh, selector of uh, select of this uh, editor like this copy id um, and paste here dot summer note and we have to select code okay now uh, 
attachment list equal to same it is as it is here email attachment dot get zero dot drop zone this will give all the files mm, cost const files is equal to attachment list dot files for loop to select the all the files here like this array have to files dot length okay now there is no need this now if you want to if you want to send a attachment files uh, from uh, this you have to create an object like a form form data or new form data to send any file to server in this object now form data dot append files like this and files i okay each file will be append in this variable in form data just like this okay now for the email the create email object email cc okay email b subject okay body will be body we have to we have to append uh, this object also home data dot append email object where we sending this object we have to convert in string otherwise not gonna work this and our stringify like this now for sending request to server and hold data i am using ajax url will be slash send email type will be post data type will be json and process data the false content uh, so data will be form data very well that we have created and on success here is a function response console dot log response okay if any error console dot log error dot message that's it because we are using a form data to send uh, for form data to uh, that that that's why in why we're using ajax request we have to uh, extra uh, define two fields uh, process data set to false and content data type we have to set false uh, otherwise this will go uh, this will this will not gonna work okay let's start on controller side const send email equal to
response if any error response dot status 400 dot send error okay now first we have to implement the functionality for upload uploading a file to server to upload a file to server we have to, for this purpose we have to uh, create a file here uh, file helper dot js okay in this file we have to uh, we are going to add multer configuration here okay const multer equal to require multer just like const storage equal to multer dot disk storage destination will be request file callback function okay now callback will be parameter will be null and folder uploads first create a folder here to upload images to uh, store images yeah, like this okay now file name request file callback function callback will be null new date to ISO string dot replace replace file dot original name they add a file property that uh, this is a file property that a file have okay now that's it for storage now create file filter request file callback if file dot mime type if mg ms slash png or file dot mime type is equal to ms slash jpg or file dot mime type is equal to ms slash jpeg or file dot mime type this is a extension mime type of uh, word docx file file dot mime type and this extension is for excel xls file file dot mime type application slash pdf extension for pdf file dot mime type video slash mp4 for mp4 file if you want to send an attachment and large file dot mime type is equal to uh, audio slash mapeg for audio file Call. null true callback null false otherwise will be false okay no const upload equal to multer storage storage and file filter 
equal to file filter just like this module dot exports is equal to upload that's it that's it for the that's it for the multi file configuration okay now grab this we minimize this and grab this here router dot post send email just const helper slash file helper okay upload upload dot array because we are going to array att add in attachment an array multiple attachment and variable this variable is like this that we have sending and appending here okay and also send email first import send email because we have not exported here first we have to export send email function no send email okay also send email that's it const request dot body now we have two uh, now we have two type of data the uh, one one type of uh, file uh, one type of object uh, that we have uh, sending from here email object and append in this in this variable on uh, stringify and second will be files that we have sent from client okay first request dot body email object okay you can grab like this and second will be file request dot files if email object if any data in this email object variable then const email is equal to json dot parse email object just like this okay now for node mailer we have to uh, add here node mailer require node mailer for the node mailer configuration to serve uh, to the to the email server we have to write count const transporter you can give any name okay node mailer dot create transport just like this server will be gmail auth user here we have to define i have to line service okay for user and password we have to configure configuration that have we have a set variables in, in config file in dot env file helper slash config okay for user config dot email server and password uh, config dot password okay just like this that's it for uh, node mailer configuration 
no let's use it here transporter dot send email first parameter will be options just like this from config dot email server from field to will be email dot to dot email to that we have that that we are sending here in in this variable okay email to email cc email bcc subject and body okay now email to cc will be email dot email cc and bcc will be email dot email bcc and for subject will be email dot subject and for body or html okay email dot body that's it for the option we have we can create a variable here options mail options just like this and cop cut and paste here like this okay and past mail options here and also last thing attachments and this will be files okay array of files that's it and here we have a callback function if any error and info this will return if any error console dot log error else console dot log email sent info that's it for email node 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 mailer for sending multiple emails with attachments now let's check go to browser browser is also running okay refresh the page on this email address like programming out of 10 at the rate of gmail.com okay you want to add uh, multiple email addresses here and also in cc um, here like this k30 at the rate of gmail.com in bcc 16040167 you have email id okay no subject test email subject announce any text okay now for heading the test email and some let's find some text from Laura Mipsum can look at Laura Mipsum generator fake this uh, generate a fake text I have copy this okay and paste here okay just like this empty just like that that's it so some text will be colorful 
background and foreground okay here like this you can design according to your desires and some attachment i have select uh, i want to select one jpg file and one excel file okay and one file word file okay and one of one will be image okay now that's i think that's enough let's select also select a pdf file this is it okay I have selected PDF file, MP3 file, Word file, Excel file, and PNG. Okay, now, and after that, response dot status 200 dot send email sent successfully, just like this in here okay. oh sorry you have to uh, slash sign here slash here now send email send email no let's check accounts first we don't need these links here i have to minimize this no check your gmail account First, I am uh, logged in uh, from this user. Here we have. I have received this email. Nine fifteen. Okay. Now, here is the text. This email that I have designed template. Design template. Color will be, and also we have five uh, image Excel file. Okay, a Word file. You can see these four files here. Okay, Word file. Yeah. Okay, image file will be and or MP3 file. Okay. Now PDF file. All file have been. Uh, uploaded an attachment and also you can check to programming hut cc this and also this now go to programming you can check email has been received here from cc to okay for attachment also no go to your server email server that you have made and send section you can check here okay to cc bcc etc okay and attachment also now if you want to send email from G for your Gmail account, you have you have you have to go to your uh, logged in first and uh, get manage your Google accounts from here, and go to security tab. Also, scroll down and uh, click on this default as off. This is uh, default as off. You have to own this. Okay. Otherwise, email will be not sent to from the server, from Gmail account, from your Gmail account. That's it. You have to set to true. And and you can also see uploads folder. We have four files. 
ओके 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 एंड ओके ठीक वी हैव फोर फाइल्स इफ वी गो टू रिवील एक्सप्लोरर अपलोड्स वी हैव दीज फोर फाइल्स वी व्यू बाय टाइल्स आइकन इमेज फाइल वर्ड फाइल एक्सेल फाइल एंड पी डी एफ एंड एम पी थ्री फाइल यू कैन अपलोड एम पी फोर फाइल ऑल्सो ओके फ्राम हेयर दीज फाइल अपलोडेड हेयर विद दी हेल्प ऑफ मल्टर दैट वी हैव कन्फिगर हेयर ओके एंड पास इन राउट्स बिकॉज वेयर वेन एवर फॉर्म डेटा Our files in 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 these variable are are coming from client. This will upload to server, like the in in this folder that we have specified. This that we have specified here. Okay, folder routes, folder route, and upload to the server file, and also give the uh, give and pass to the. Uh, action file or component that we have received request dot file variable here okay and what uh, and these these files are file dot path and file name size uh, all the file property we have in this variable okay now th so that's it for this tutorial next thanks for watching